Hey there, race fans. We're here in Worcester, Ohio, the home of the one and only Sheldon Hoddenshield. And Sheldon, we're getting a little bit of a peek inside your life. You've just built this beautiful home and shop, and we're going to get a little bit of a tour. What's it been like so far? Yeah, it's been great. Uh, finally have a place to call home and uh, a place to come to when we get off the road. So enjoying that and enjoying the build process. Well, let's get into this tour. Something super unique about Sheldon's shop is this beautiful helmet wall. We're going to go through some stories and, you know, some history behind those helmets. Let's get started. Yeah, for sure. So, uh, big helmet collector. My dad kind of, uh, when I started racing, gave a lot of helmets away. So, I've been buying helmets back. So, if anybody out there has my dad's helmets, uh, I'll probably buy them off you um, if the price is right. Um, but a lot of cool stories on dad's. Um, a lot more cool stories of mine, like... Uh, this helmet here, dad took a, a Nerf bar through the front of his helmet, knocked his two front teeth out. Um, I think this was at Williams Grove, but crazy stories like that that dad has. Um, another one here, he took a rock to the face. I've never seen a helmet uh, push a shield in like that. and That one broke his nose, had a lot of blood running. Um, He's a tough old dude, though, so he was good. Just a lot of uh, cool ones from Dad's early years, too, up top. Pennzoil car. He was with Pennzoil for nine years, so, uh, you know, another, you know, I only got four or five helmets from ten years of Dad racing, so I know there's a lot out there that I don't have, but uh, grateful for the ones that I do have. Um, yeah, a couple of trophies from this year. Don't really have a spot to put them yet, but uh, working on all that, and uh, just keeping it going. Well, hopefully that's a, that's a work in progress there. It's really neat that you're taking the time to find your dad's helmets and buy them back. But let's go, go through some of your helmets. you got some really cool designs over there. Yeah, uh, I've been addicted uh, for a long time now, so uh, my dad kind of makes fun of me a little bit for uh, getting helmets painted and spending a lot of money on them and time. But uh, something I enjoy, when I look at a helmet, uh, I think of a certain time or a certain race win or uh, just traveling down the road, uh, a lot of them have. Um, like uh, this one here, like I have my mom's uh, dad on the top of this one. He raced out in California, uh, no cage, really crazy uh, guys back then. And uh, had some cool guys from uh, that served our country and kind of did a theme for that. And they signed it and uh, it was just cool to like represent them and, and have something that you know, meant something to me. And then some cool Knoxville helmets that we did, obviously uh, the red car that we did, another really cool helmet. Uh, I got a few crosses on my helmets. I've worn a cross and chain uh, probably since I was like, man, I don't even know, eight years old, a, a crew guy gave me a cross and a chain and I've worn it every day since. So uh, just little things like that I try and to uh, incorporate into my helmets and uh, make them special to me. Did you say that your dad makes fun of you for getting your helmets painted? Uh, a little bit, you know. It's, guys are old school back in the day. They didn't really, you know, you spend fifteen hundred, two grand to get a helmet painted. Uh, your dad might look at you a little funny, but uh, to me, uh, it's worth it to put them up on the shelf and kind of have a story for later. Well, I see these bikes here. Is uh, this a pastime for you? I and mean, obviously, you're riding around these in the pits, maybe. Yeah, so just a quad for my old race team and then some toys for wintertime and summertime. Uh, you know, all my buddies ride bikes. I grew up racing dirt bikes, so uh, just something to stay busy and have a little fun. I noticed that's a big World of Outlaws thing, riding around the pits on a bike, but I love that, getting your exercise in, of course. And we got some cool, we got some cool trophies here. Go through those. Uh, yeah, so these are all from uh, this, sh this year, I think. Uh, well, that's a last year one, but uh, the first win of the year at Lincoln uh, for the Clash, um, another Clash one, and the Clash gave a, three good trophies. Uh, we got uh, the Iron Man trophy from uh, last year. Uh, then we got the Boot Hill Showdown from uh, Dodge City and our win at Houston. So uh, trying to build on that. Still want to get some wins this year. We're kind of running out of time, so uh, we got to take advantage of it here. Well, it's so cool. It's so neat to see this all finally come together. I bet it's a bit of a, a relief for you. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, always to get home is nice and, you know, take a little stress off us and uh, get some time at home. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is a bit of a shop tour and a peek into Sheldon Honshill's life here in Worcester, Ohio. We're going to be racing there at Wayne County tonight.